Okay, so to calibrate, you use the two star method and you point to Polaris for your initial one. And then you pull out a compass with an inclinometer on it, which I just happen to have uh, on my phone. It's not affected too much by magnetism. And we point north. Because Polaris is the North Star. And according to this, it wants to go up to 38 degrees 29 seconds. So I'm watching the pitch. Go up to 38. It's not too critical for this because uh, obviously the antenna has a much wider beam than the, uh, than the telescope would. And then you just pick the second star, which is in this case is Arcturus. So it says it's 195 and 69 degrees of elevation. And let's see if it is. So there's 199 and 65, so it's pretty close. We'll take that though, but that could be just because it's not quite there. Okay, so we started up the, the Hamlib. Hamlib uh, 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 rotator control, and uh, we've already I've started up G-Predict, and you can see we're ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and sorry about the glare on this. We're going to go ahead and open up the antenna control. You can see I've already entered next star into the uh, into the uh, preferences, and we'll go ahead and hit engage. And you can see that the rotator is moving. Now I don't particularly. Now it's moving to 180 and 45, which is what the default is, or what it's been told to go to. And let's see what the next satellite coming up here. Okay, so it looks like um, the International Space Station is going to be making a pretty good pass here in about 10 minutes. So I figure we'll track that in first. You can see it's already positioned and ready to go, and it is tracking, saying uh, time to get there is uh, 10 minutes and 8 seconds at this point to iOS or AOS. Um, not going to be. I'm going to be using my uh, FT872 for this uh, with it set up for Eris, uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, the, we're going to track the same way just to make sure it's possible. You can see it is moving quite across. We are picking up packets all the way during the conversation. So this is good.
this very good vintage. There we go, thanks for receiving me now. Again, being in the building, it doesn't hurt. You can clearly see it doesn't work. Okay, so just a quick follow up here. We've got about three minutes till the next pass. You'll see that we actually did uplink to the ISS and it did touch a peep for us. So, uh, proof that something works today anyway. So Okay, you can see we're about to start hearing from uh, FO for 29. I'm going to start by listening for the CW beacon. And uh, we'll go from there. And you can see right there we've got the, start the other recorder going. You can see we've got AOS. And we'll start listening for the CW beacon.